Hey, how are you doing? It's time for uh, Chris's Texas Sports Podcast. I'm Chris. They had the MLB All-Star Game at Global Life Field Tuesday night. The American League won 5-3. to three. The uh, starting pitchers were uh, Paul Skeens from the Pirates for the NL and Corbin Burns from the uh, Orioles for the AL. Shohei Otani had a home run in the top of the third to put the NL ahead 3 to nothing. The AL then tied it in the bottom of the third. Jaron Duran from the uh, Red Sox hit the game-winning home run in the bottom of the fifth. He was the MVP. Mason Miller from the A's was the winning pitcher. Hunter Green from the Reds was the losing pitcher. And Emmanuel, Emmanuel Clace from the uh, Guardians got the save. The Astros and Rangers All-Stars did pretty good. Uh, Jordan Alvarez from the Astros uh, was the DH. Uh, he uh, walked in the bottom of the second. The uh, Rangers' uh, Marcus Simeon started at second in place of uh, the Astros' Jose Altuve, who has an injury. And he got a leadoff single in the uh, bottom of the third. Well, his uh, teammate Corey Seager had a deep play out in the bottom of the fifth. And uh, pitcher Kirby Yates uh, struck out two in the uh, top of the eighth. Former Ra- Ranger Adrian Beltre threw out the first pitch. He's going to the Hall of Fame on Sunday. And I'm going to the uh, Rangers game on Sunday. They're uh, playing the Orioles. The Astros opened the series against the uh, Mariners in Seattle on Friday. They also had the MLB uh, draft in Fort Worth. And uh, next, the Astros and Rangers are first-round picks. Okay. Both the Astros and Rangers uh, drafted catchers in the first round. The Astros uh, took uh, Walker Janik from uh, Sam Houston with the uh, 28th pick. He won the Buster Posey Award as the best defensive catcher. He was called the best catcher available in the draft. The Rangers took Malcolm Moore from uh, Stanford with the last pick of the first round. He was uh, all Pac-12 honorable mention last season. In uh, football, ESPN had uh, Texans wide receiver Stephon Diggs ranked number 9 in his top 10 uh, wide receiver list and had quarterback uh, had Cowboys uh, wide receiver uh, C.D. Lamb ranked number 4. Now in his top 10 quarterback list, it had uh, C.J. Stroud from the Texans number 7 and uh, Dak Prescott from the Cowboys number 10. Now, uh, Christopher Mad Dog Russo on uh, first take had his own uh, top 10 quarterback list, and he had C.J. Stroud right number 7, but he didn't have uh, Dak Prescott on the list. Coming up next, an old arena in Texas. I remember going to see the uh, circus when I was a kid in Houston at the uh, Sam Houston Coliseum. The uh, Coliseum opened in 1937 and was the home of the Houston Arrows hockey team from the uh, WHA, the uh, Houston Mavericks basketball team from the ABA, the uh, Houston Apollos hockey team, one from the uh, CPHL, I think, and the CHL, and the University of Houston Cougars uh, basketball team played there before Hoffine's Pavilion was built. Houston Wrestling, run by uh, promoter Paul Bosch, had their matches there. They uh, tore the Coliseum down in 1998. The uh, Hobby Center for the Performing Arts is where it's at, and that is uh, where it was at. They uh, played the uh, first Cotton Bowl game in 1937. TCU beat Marquette 36-16. to Okay, next, the uh, 2024 Texas Tech football team. Last year, Texas Tech went seven and six last year. They were a five and four in the Big Twelve. This year, they are picked to be a ninth in the Big Twelve. 
The first home game is against Abilene Christian at home on August 31st. The first uh, Big 12 game is against uh, Arizona State at home on September 21st. Running back Taj Brooks is a 13 mile American and all Big 12 from Athlon Sports. The head coach is Joey McGuire. Friday, a look at Texas A&M. Now, before I go, here's what I'm thinking. Watching the All-Star game last night, and I was thinking, I still don't like the uniforms the players had on. I liked it better when they wore their team's uniforms. Well, that's it for today. For today, I'll be back on Friday. I'm Chris Carlisle, and I thank you for checking out my podcast.